Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your love messages for July going into August 2018. Okay, so with one deck we're going to get the situation, what's going on with Libra. And with another deck we're going to get some advice, okay? Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Be sure to comment below. It automatically enters you um, in a raffle to win a free reading, okay? All right, let's get into it. What's the situation for Libra? There's so many different situations going on for everybody. Ugh. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Now, this could be you, Libra, or another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this comes up either as Libra or Aquarius. It can be a Gemini, but most times this is Libra or Aquarius. Okay. So, let's see what's going on with the situation. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Um. Some of you are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. There's problems in this marriage, in this relationship. There's inequality. There's imbalance. There's an imbalance of how someone thinks mentally, the cognitive of what the woman and what the man does. And some, some of, some of uh, my Libras are in relationships where the man thinks that just because they give the money they pay the bills they can do whatever they want and then um for my Libra man you know this this is what, how you're thinking about you know your wife or whomever you're with also there's somebody external to the to the relationship Capricorn Virgo Taurus didn't have to be if you're dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, there's someone external to the relationship um, in regards to um, your partner is just out here, you know, uh, Libra. It might be with one person, it might be with several people, but they definitely are, you know, f going around and um, they have, uh, they're maintaining their singlehood. Uh, they flirt, they take numbers, they may even go on dates. Uh, they could be promiscuous, I don't know, you know what's going on. Um, but there's a third party here. Also, if, if it's just another one other person, your partner is really like, this is an affair. This isn't just, oh, I had sex with, you know, another person. This is your partner building with this person they're like you know spending a whole lot of time they know a whole lot about this person um, they can even be financing this person um, they're getting a lot of recognition from your partner or vice versa this is you Libra um, I think you know that this is going on King of Swords yep King of Pentacles yeah Definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. Um, you're defensive about this relationship. They're getting a lot of attention. You're tired. Um, you may even be at a rest or a break with this person. You know that this is just a cycle and it needs to end. You know that you've got to choose a different path. But once again, you're not. Just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, whatever that may be. Or there may be children involved in this situation. For some of you, this is um, either a Piscean person or a Scorpio coming back from the past. They want a new passionate start. Um, yeah. Intuitively, you know they haven't really made a decision about where they are. Uh, they may have someone else. Um yeah they may have they still may have someone else when they left they had someone else and they're coming back just with passion they want sex and uh they they aren't making the effort to choose you they just you know they want to have sex with you that's where some of just, some of the uh 
Libras, what's going on? All right, so the advice. Let's get some advice for Libra. Some of you have children with a partner who's trying to come back. They only want sex. Um, I think when when you when they come back and they see that you want something real and stable, that's when they leave again. Um, that's when they're not interested. That's when the phone calls come less and few, or uh, what is that? Few and none. I don't know. They the phone calls just stop. <laughs> they come very seldomly. Um, yeah, what are what are the still advice for Libra? Some of you, your partner feels like they put out a lot of money for you, so they feel like they can do anything, whatever that means. Um, there there are people in your partner's ear telling them that you're a gold digger, and you very well may be. Um, but there is a sense of likelihood, and, and it, it could even be love. You, you love this person, but you love your, the stability that they provide also. Be true to yourself. Okay, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Nice. We'll revisit that. Hang on. Strength, four of swords, the moon. Then here's you, Libra, justice. Um, immediately, uh, you, you, you're getting the answers you need. The answers of clarity of advice through what by way of dreams, meditation, sitting with yourself, isolating yourself. Some of you are depressed, going through depression. Be strong in this. Justice is here for you. It's coming for you. It'll set you back to the Nine of Pentacles type of woman or man that you are or were. Um, single, independent. Um, strong um, monetarily, mentally ready for partnership for some of you it's it's the matter of walking away from being strong and taming yourself not to go back to a situation that only provides you sexual uh, pleasure and activity because every time you try to transform this relationship to anything other than your partner finds disinterest. He finds disinterest or she finds disinterest because they already have partnership, uh, home life, wife, husband, elsewhere. They don't want that with you. I'm sorry. That, those, these messages just come. I'm sorry. Uh, it sucks. We've all been there. Um. You find you know this, you know this, you know this, you know that this, uh, and this person, you know, uh, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, and Cancer highlighted here. Um, some of my my Cancer women feel like they can draw the, my Libra man back with the sex, and he falls into it, and they're back in the same cycle, and then nothing has changed, and then the same problems resurface and you're back on the hamster wheel over and over again and then some for my Libra women you're allowing some Scorpio some uh yeah some Scorpio uh cancer maybe some Scorpio back into your life could even be a Leo they have like some mental issues like like they really have some mental issues like you overlook it people overlook it but they have some real heightened mental issues that you cannot stray away from but you try to stray away from it and you try to see the good and, and that's libra's problem seeing a good and bad people they always invest in the wrong people always you have if you if you pinpoint that trait about yourself You'll start making better decisions. I had to pinpoint traits about myself that weren't so great in in terms of my general um, astrological makeup. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. I have Aquarius all over my chart. Um, I have uh, Libra and Aries, Aries rising, Libra moon, and that's about it. And then Aquarius like everywhere else. So I'm like a diehard Aquarius. Um, I don't express emotion well I don't and I had to 
you know, um, I had to come to terms with that. And I had to come to terms with uh, how I can be better at that. Or I would always be on the hamster wheel. Libra, self-reflection is the best medicine, you know. And things are coming to you. Downloads are coming to you about spirits, you know. Okay, spirits might be coming to you. Dreams and your dreams, you're getting the clarity you need. Okay, Libra, if you feel like you need a personal reading, please email me. Uh, go over to the website where everything is updated. Uh, click on uh, video readings or live readings or whatever and uh, go ahead and book on the website uh, Or you could just send me an email and you know, um, I can walk you through some things uh, about booking um, Libra remember to stay in prayer. I am praying for you pray for me as well comment below Especially if this resonated with you like share comment subscribe. All right. Take care guys